as you guys can see there are two boxes one large box and one small box this small box is having skull and this large box is having rest of the bones let's first start with our small box as you guys can see there is a plastic packaging here we have our skull bone I would say this is almost similar to the real skull bone. The difference is that it is properly attached. All bones are properly attached and of course less yellow. As we remove these clips. We can take out this skull cap. This is our skull cap and here is the rest of the skull and as you can see this mandible is protected with this plastic kind of string so that it doesn't move. And uh, here is a spring like system so that mandible is always attached to it but it can move up and down too now we will remove this plastic string now we are cutting this down let's try to move this mandible bone yes it is movable up and down up and down and this string is attached here so that it can perform those up and down movements and as you can see this portion this back side of skull with all those anatomical details now intracranial space we can see this phenoid region foramen and everything is almost anatomical anatomically correct I can't say that it is as precise as the real bone but for studying purpose it is good enough and here we have these holes so that this skull cap fits properly and it seems strong too it won't get broken easily but you will have to protect it Now let's open this bigger box. As you guys can see, this is sternum bone along with its coastal cartilages. Uh, this is the only thing that I don't like about this bone kit because I would have liked to study these this bone separately because as you guys must have seen in real sternum bone manubrium sterni and xiphoid process and this bone is separated but here we have just plastic cartilage and it is just painted in the middle so I don't like it now as you guys can see these are vertebral bones I just counted they are 24 C7 T12 and this five lumbar vertebra I will show you this is second lumbar vertebra uh, these vertebra vertebral bones are almost anatomically correct but not much precise but it's very useful for studying at home or for students this is T10 
now let me find one cervical vertebra so i can show you this is c2 c4 l5 okay so these are all 24 bones now moving on to next bone this is hand bones one is completely articulated and uh, another hand bones are disarticulated i had counted this too it is all good as you guys can see this is articulated hand i had counted the number of bones these are all right and uh, here we have disarticulated hand I have counted this it's all fine now we have foot bone foot bones this is articulated and uh, Another is disarticulated. You guys can see tarsal. It is almost anatomical correct, but not very precise. Now we have sternum bone of both sides. It's too almost anatomically correct but not very perfect impressions so it is not very precise but almost anatomically correct clavicle is another bone that i don't like much about this bone bit because it is not very precise as you guys can see it is bent wrong and this part is too much flat but you can use it for study purpose at home these are rib bones I had counted they are all good all right now we have hip bone it is I'm very impressed by this bone because it seems almost anatomically correct and uh, it is great I would say I'm most impressed by skull and hip bone but uh, here are few things that I don't like it has some wrong impressions but it's uh, just manufacturers mistake I mean during manufacturing it's not any impression but just a mark and this should have been more on the medial side this portion so this is our hip bone this is sacrum as you guys can see this is almost anatomically correct and great too just like hip bone but here are also few material coming out of this so but it's fine now we have bones of both upper and lower limbs of both sides now I'm showing you these all one by one this is femur as you guys can see this is um, also impressive because it also seems almost anatomically correct but uh, here the impression is lacking here it's lacking the impression a round kind of impression is here and uh, it is more straight it should have been it should be more bent somewhere here but it's all right tibia it is also almost anatomically correct i'm also impressed by this bone it has all those lines and impressions correctly 
but of course mu not much precise like a real bone but almost anatomically correct and good this is fibula as you guys can see this is another bone that i'm not very impressed with because um, it has all those lines and impressions correctly but it should have been more bent it should be more bent somewhat like this now this is humerus similarly like femur it is almost anatomically correct all those lines and impressions everything is here but uh, similarly to femur it should be more bent it is more straight kind of it should have been bent now this is radius this is good enough it is to almost anatomically correct this is um, also one of the bone that i'm very impressed with all those styloid process and everything is correctly depicted this is ulna as you guys can see this is not very good as you guys can see its upper part olecranon process and everything it is not much anatomically very correct but it's correct anatomically but not very correct but it's fine you can study at home with this it's the lower part now this is patella as you guys can see all those impressions and lines are here so it is also almost anatomically correct let's skip it down to see the direction yes you can use that original bone trick here too to find the side of the bone to which it belongs so finally guys i would say that i highly recommend this bone kit because it is almost anatomically correct and it is great I just found a few bones that were not much anatomically correct but this bone set is great because you can't really get that original bone set at home you can't get it from your college sometimes too so this bone set would be great to have so go for it at the end i would say all bones were great but there are four bones that i don't like much these are alna of course then sternum of course of course of course because it is attached with costal cartilage and it would have been much better if it was a separate bone and then this fibula as it is not much bent as it is uh, required and then this clavicle which is not much anatomically correct otherwise this bone set is great so go for it guys